A common feature in modern residential real estate contracts is an inspection clause that allows buyers the opportunity to inspect the property, often with professional home inspectors. The clause typically allows buyers to cancel the deal if they're dissatisfied with the inspection. But if a buyer can just walk away, does a binding contract even exist? The Supreme Court of California considered that question in the 1958 case of Matei v. Hopper. Peter Matei, a real estate developer, wanted to buy land from Amelia Hopper and then build a shopping center on it. After months of negotiations, Matei and Hopper came to an agreement and recorded it on a real estate form called a deposit receipt. The agreement required Matei to pay a $1,000 deposit. Thereafter, he had 120 days to examine the title and pay the remainder of the purchase price. At the time of the final payment, Hopper was to deed the property to Matei. The entire transaction was subject to Matei obtaining enough tenants for the proposed shopping center before he had to pay the balance of the purchase price. Matei made the initial $1,000 deposit and began securing leases. But before the 120-day period had expired, Hopper announced that she wasn't going to complete the sale. Matei then advised her that he'd obtained satisfactory leases and was prepared to tender the balance of the purchase price. Hopper refused to complete the sale. Matei sued Hopper for breach of contract. After a bench trial, the trial court ruled that the agreement lacked mutuality of obligation and was therefore without consideration. The court granted judgment to Hopper. Matei appealed to the Supreme Court of California.